Well, Fed Chair Powell's semi-annual testimony on the Hill is underway, with inflation easing across categories, jobs stable, and recession concerns growing. Powell is defending the FOMC's hawkish outlook. He said in prepared remarks that nearly all FOMC participants expect to raise rates later this year. Well, joining us now with an update on how the hearing is going is Yahoo Finance reporter Jennifer Schonberger. Jennifer, what have you heard so far? Hey there, Rochelle. That's right. Fed Chair Powell testifying right now before the House Financial Services Committee says as the central bank looks to raise rates higher, it's really the ultimate level on interest rates, not the speed at this point that's most important. Take a listen to what he said just a bit ago. The level to which we raise rates is actually a separate question of the speed with which we move. Earlier in the process, speed was very important. It's not very important now. The sense of the of the summary of economic projections and the decision really is just that, given how far we've come, it may make sense to move rates higher, but to do so at a more moderate pace. So far, Republicans on the committee are slamming Fed Chair Powell for the potential for proposed higher capital requirements in the aftermath of the failure of Silicon Valley Bank. Fed Vice Chair of Supervision Michael Barr is undergoing a holistic assessment of capital requirements right now. Committee Chair Patrick McHenry expressed concern about Barr's idea yesterday, Tuesday, to do reverse stress testing, which would look to essentially improve banks' resiliency by heaping on uh, capital requirements as a threat to get banks to fix issues quickly. McHenry said Barr is, quote, pursuing a massive increase in capital standards for medium and large institutions, and that this would limit banks' ability to lend and starve consumers and small businesses of capital that's needed. Representative Andy Barr, a Republican on the committee, went as far as to say that Powell should revisit Dodd-Frank to ensure that Barr, the vice chair of supervision, is only recommending, not writing preferred capital requirements himself. Powell said in response to all of the Republican concern and criticism, quote, we want to be careful not to regulate smaller banks to the point where their business models are really challenged by the largest banks. He said that any increase should really be justified. Now, Powell also getting peppered with many questions on the failure of Silicon Valley Bank and what the Fed could have done and is doing now. Powell saying that it's clear better liquidity requirements are needed and that if higher capital Capital requirements were in place when SVB failed. Perhaps the situation could have ended differently. Rochelle. Indeed. I know he's getting a grilling there on Capitol Hill today. Thank you for getting us up to speed. Jennifer Schoenberger there for us.